Hey guys, it's Link. Today I'd like to take you through a brand new toy in my toolbox. It's a Sparmax air compressor called the Beetle. And uh, it's a small portable unit and it looks like it would be really good for entry level airbrushes. So we'll go through a review and a quick test of that. Uh, I'll be using and connecting it to my uh, dual action airbrush from the Max series, another Sparmax product. Uh, I've got the Max 3, it's called, and it's a uh, 0.3 millimeter. I think it's really good for all around use. And uh, I'll be using some of the uh, the samples I got from my friends at Gaia Notes, including this unicorn paint, which uh, looks really, really nifty. Uh, it'll be my first time testing out some prismatic uh, holographic paints, they called them. And uh, there's this really nifty color. There's a, uh, a prismatic blue-black color that I think looked very cool in person. And uh, they also have a, uh, a, a gold. And I'll be making my debut today on uh, airbrushing some spoons. Never done it before. Let's see how I go. The Beetle comes in a nice sturdy box. Now, if you're like me, I actually pack up my workspace uh, after. So having these uh, sturdy boxes really works for me in uh, packing away my, uh, my tools. Worldwide, power source compatible. Let's have a look inside. Some nice packing foam in there. The unit's straight in front. Small box here, it must be the power cords. And then at the bottom, I can see the air hose. It's a very dense little unit. Uh, it's got nice little legs on the bottom. There's the start button on the front and uh, an airbrush holder on one side. Cool. And it looks like a, uh, a way to control the, uh, the air up on top. I was wondering how I would plug this in because uh, it looks like it's got the, uh, you know, the, the usual uh, PC laptop connection and it's got this nifty thing so i guess this is uh what they will put in for our different regional use and it just clips in pretty awesome right okay with everything hooked up it's got a little sensor on the side here so with it on watch this and that comes on and then and then we replace it so that will help with our overheating problems etc for our first victim, let's see if it can spray some surfacer and I'll be putting it onto this spoon. I've prepared the surfacer by uh, putting it into a, a little bottle here and uh, using some T07 thinner. Uh, hooking it up, let's give it a blast and see how it works. I've used this paint a bunch of times before, including on my uh, recent Orc Flyer and uh, I'm loving how it goes on. I can't really tell the difference in using this beetle as opposed to my uh, my airism. Airism? Airism? The, uh, the other bigger unit I've got from Sparmax. So yeah, if you can't tell, it's not a bad sign. Okay, that worked really well. Now let's try that white uh, unicorn paint. And I'm putting it over, uh, I couldn't see the white spray on the white spoon, so I sprayed gray first, then white, and gave it this mottled appearance. And let's shoot straight over that. Okay, not being super experienced with these kinds of paints means that I'm not as much help for you guys, but in terms of the compressor and its use, uh, it's belting the air out as we need it to. So, you know, that that is uh, working as required. The um, These paints are super interesting though. I'm, uh, I'm curious to test these out more and more. I mean, you can see that pearlescent sheen starting to build up there. And uh, I, I, I'm intrigued. I want to know more. Okay, last test. I'm having lots of fun. I need to get back to work. But I'm going to do a spoon with a uh, Tamiya TS7 gloss uh, base coat. And then I'm going to spray some of the, uh, the blue-black prismatic paint over the top. Uh, that's how it looks. Very nice, glossy and black. I'm going to shoot a thinned mixture of 50% T07 regular thinner with this paint. And um, the Gaia Notes guys told me that they get even better results if they use their specialist metallic thinner. And I'm pretty excited to try that out. But so far, the compressor is really pushing this heavier lacquer paint out just fine. I mean, I've thinned it properly. It's uh, a good 50-50 ratio here, but uh, big thumbs up for the little beetle. Uh, small package, but it's pumping the paint out very well. My friends ask me all the time, which thinner do you like, Links? This one, T07 from Gaia Notes. It's my favorite and I use it for everything. Both Gaia Notes paints and Mr. Color. Okay, the Beetle, in summary, I like it. It's a good little unit and I think it'll be fine for beginners, intermediates, and even more advanced folks like me if you're only using it for a short time. Now, a word on heat. This was my biggest concern in using such a small unit. I expected it to get quite warm. Now, it is cool weather here for me. It was about 20 degrees Celsius today, and the unit didn't get hot at all. It was warm, warm to the touch after, you know, about an hour of airbrushing. By comparison, my LED lights for my workstation here, they were actually much hotter. So that's a good one. 
Now in terms of value for money, this is a sample unit and I don't think it's available for retail yet uh, outside in the world. So once that comes up, do give me a shout and let's talk about uh, what we think about it for value for money. But so far as a unit, big thumbs up from Link. Thanks guys. Uh, if you like the show, please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Please come and join in in our Gumpla group build in the Paint on Plastic Facebook group. There's a link in the comments below. Guys, I'm a big fan of Support Local. My local hobby shop is Hobbyco and I get all of my kits and tools from them. Do support your local hobby shop and they have free shipping on orders over $50. Woohoo! A personal shout out and a big thank you to the top supporters who make this show possible. Ivan, MB, Grant, Con, Jack, Alexander, David, Simon, Robert, MC Kelso, Kevin, and Nilos. A heartfelt thanks to the Paint on Plastic Patreon community who really make this show happen. I couldn't do it without you artists supporting this artist. Thank you very much, guys.